Hi everyone! Today you will learn how to crochet a lampshade. For this tutorial I recommend using acrylic yarn or textile yarn. And I'm using here Capris Big Barilana and an 8mm hook, bamboo hook. We will start with 14 stitches. It's only to show you how to, how to create such a lampshade. So we will have 14 stitches and I will increase in the first round every fourth stitch. So increase every fourth stitch. And for your lampshade, you, I think you will need, of course, more stitches and then you have you, you have to count where you have to increase. So for example, if you do not have 14 stitches and if you have 28, so you have 28, then how to know where to start increasing? Um, you see, you will get 28 if you If you have a multiple of two, then you will get 28 from 14. So you will have to do here the same. And then you will get, you will get every eighth stitch and so on. So then you will know where to start increasing. And I will show you some different shapes afterwards. There you, you will have also to, to customize your increasing stitches. So first we will start with a, with a slip knot and for this create a circle. Then put the long string under the circle and put it through. Or pull it through. Then you will get a loop and insert your hook into this loop and then tighten. Okay. So for the beginning chain stitch you have to crochet very loose. It's important otherwise your shade may maybe it will not look good enough. So crochet very loose or very loosely for this yarn over and pull the yarn through the loop. Make sure it's real really loose. You have enough space here. Yarn over and pull through. So we need 14. I have Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and fourteen. Okay, we have our fourteen stitches. Now we have to create a circle for this. Make sure it is not twisted. And then insert your hook into the first stitch, yarn over, and then slip stitch. To slip stitch, pull the yarn through all the stitches, like this. This will be a slip stitch. Now we said we said we increase every fourth stitch, so we crochet three single crochets. For this, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. This creates a single crochet. One more time, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two. Okay, so we have two single crochets, the third one. Now in the fourth stitch an increase. That means we have to crochet two single crochets into the same stitch to increase the number of stitches. Okay, first one single crochet into the fourth stitch and then go through the same loop, pull up a loop, uh, pull through two. So you have here two stitches in one. Okay, and then continue doing 
your single crochets. So the first one, the second, and the third, and into the fourth stitch and increase one and the second into the same stitch. And then again, one, two, three, and into the fourth stitch and increase. Okay, so this is the first round and in the second round you continue crocheting single crochets without increasing. Now you can decide if you work with the back loop, if you work with the front loop or if you use both loops. I will use both loops for this. So I will continue single crochet the next round without increasing so how did i know that we had here the next round you can see this on this tail here it was the beginning beginning strand so this was the the knot and the first stitch so this tells me where the, the round uh, where the end is and where the beginning of the round is. Of course you can set a marker but you can see it also if you have a look at the tail. Okay, so this was the second round and in the third round you will increase every fifth stitch. So first we had every fourth stitch, now we will have every fifth stitch. First you crochet four single crochets. One, two, three and four. And then increase into the fifth stitch. Okay. And then continue one, two, three, four single crochets and then increase into the fifth stitch. The next round without increasing and the fifth round you will increase every sixth stitch and so on. So you always count plus one. And then I wanted to talk about some shapes. So our lampshade has a shape that looks like this. And we increase here every fourth stitch. Or maybe yeah, if we start with 14 stitches. If you start if you start with 28, you have to increase the, the first round every eight, eight stitch. So if you want or if you need a shape like this, which is really thin, then you have to increase to start increasing maybe every six or seven stitch. So you have to find out because it's always different. You have to look at your work and decide if it's enough or not. If we start here with 14 stitches, if you start with 20. 28 then then you need um, 12 or 14 here okay and if your shape is maybe something like this and you have 14 beginning stitches then maybe you have to start with every second stitch to increase or if you have 28 then every fourth so I hope you can see what I mean so if you want to have a thinner shape you have to increase less not so often 
and if you want to have a thicker, a bigger, wider shape, then you have to increase more often. And this will get you the shape which you like, but which stitch or where to increase, you have really to find out. Because every shape is different and every type of yarn is different and everyone is crocheting in a different way, so nobody can really tell Take this number of stitches and increase it like this and you will get the shape because you really have to look at your work and then to decide for looking at, at it and I hope I hope this will help you to have <laughs> to have um, yeah an, um, an, an orientation for your shape and uh, the last thing which you will have to do here so if you're done with your work is if it's big enough it's long enough and so on then your last stitch it doesn't matter where where you're doing this your last stitch will be a slip stitch like this and then then you can cut the yarn and pull it to the last stitch here so you you cut your yarn and you pull it through here and then pull it out and then tighten it and then sew in the ends so don't forget <laughs> to, to screw them in so I think you won't forget yeah, and that's it. It's it's quite simple, but you will have you will have to try a lot, I think, to find uh, the right shape. But the, this tutorial is really really simple. So happy crocheting, and until next time, bye bye.